Hello everyone! I hope that you're doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shikha and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm really grateful that you're listening, subscribing, commenting. I really appreciate the support. And in this one, I actually want to speak to you about something I've been thinking about for a long time. This is something that I've been researching, I guess, on my own or kind of trying to become more of an expert on, on my own uh, for no real reason. Um, just because I, I'm fascinated by the subject and it's the idea of what brings success in a particular field. I would always be observing successful people and this is something that I've been doing since I was a child, like a teenage, young person, <laughs> probably since I was a teenager because I was always fascinated by the idea that y you could have two people in the same family and one of them becomes a huge success and does all of these things with their life, whatever success means to you. I'm not saying particularly that they become a celebrity or anything like that, but like they become successful, they're happy, joyful with their life, they, they're doing what they want to do with their life. Yeah? They are successful in that regard. And then another person, same family, same environment, same genetic, almost same genetics, they end up you know, not living the best life ever. They might even have a terrible life. They might end up in jail or... Um, doing drugs or whatever you know that means to you um, are they just unhappy in general and they're just not able to get to that joy that everyone wants to experience but not even just that like just in the same family just looking around you all the time you know like people in the same school you know they might have the same education same teachers and everything but one of them turns out to be brilliant in terms of like they do really well and they go forth and blah 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 whereas another person lives a mediocre life and just sits there and complains all the time now as I've said success is not necessarily about fame or fortune it's about being able to say hey yeah I'm living the life that I want it's epic it's exactly what I want to do with my time on this planet this is it you know this is what I want to this is my ideal life that's what means success to me so you know you could be looking at a person and be like hey they look really successful from the outside but they might be really unhappy and is that really success I don't know right I would say no but different people would say different things right so I'm looking at it from that perspective and what I was thinking to myself is that you know it's not necessarily to do some people would say it is but I would say it doesn't necessarily have to do with talent I wouldn't say that the people who are successful and necessarily are talented or more talented than everyone else around them and this is something that I've been getting a lot of feedback on from my teachers for example I take ukulele lessons because it's fun and you know I asked my he's a, he teaches guitar he's brilliant very very talented man started studying music on his own at a time when there was no internet and there were no notes like he didn't know what the notes meant and which note it was and he just learned all of it on his own at home by himself in Bali like it's amazing this man is brilliant and so he teaches guitar drums ukulele all of it that he learned on his own and you know I'd ask him about his students you know I, I always say you know like are there a lot of talented students that come to you and he says you know actually I don't think there's a lot of talent at all that comes to me particularly but in general because what happens is that a lot of people come to me and they will work really really hard at it and they'll practice and practice and practice and they become talented and there'll be a couple of people who I look at them and they're, they're, they just pick up things just like that they, you just have to show them once and they'll be able to do it forever but they don't practice and then they never actually do anything with their talent and that's the whole point of it right it's a point that if you're not going to do something with it, what's the point? There's no point having talent. You have to practice. You will become more talented, even if you're not, if you practice. And that brings me to the point of this video, finally, is that I've noticed that from all of my studies of successful people, one of the things I do notice that is absolutely important to this root of success, whatever you're trying to get successful in, be it playing the ukulele, <laughs> I don't know what success means in that, but you know, playing guitar, playing a musical instrument, um, uh, writing a story, or becoming an author, uh, becoming really fit, whatever your thing is that you're trying to strive towards, everything starts with that one minuscule, tiny baby step. One minuscule, tiny baby minute, whatever it might be. It starts with that little thing, which is the first step the first note 
the first practice minute, the first uh, class that you take, the first um, word that you write. Yeah, it's all built upon those little, small, tiny little things. So, for example, if you're going to become a musician, you know, it all depends on how many small minutes, every minute you practice, contributes to your becoming a talented musician. Every minute, minute by minute, by minute by minute, by minute by minute, you're getting to the point where you become a talented musician. Same thing with a talented author, you know. It depends on every single little word that you write, every single little sentence that you create. Word by word by word by word by word, you're going to get to become that talented author. Same thing with becoming fit or, or you know, strong. Every weight that you lift, every little minute that you spend on in the gym, everything that you're doing in order to make yourself stronger. Of course, all there are all these other things. You have to sleep better, you know, you have to um, eat better and all that. But every minute that you spend in the gym, every little thing that you do, bit by bit, will get you towards that goal of becoming fitter, stronger, better, whatever it is that you're looking for. And it applies to everything that we do. And I've noticed this in my life as well. Everything that I've become better at, everything that I've become, not an expert at, but good at, is because I spend all of these tiny minutes doing things over and over and over and over and over again over a long period of time and then suddenly I realized oh I'm actually quite good at this for example writing a story uh, a short story or a story in general I noticed that it's quite easy for me now in this moment in time but it's because I've been writing since I was 12 years old and this is like 20 30, 30, almost 30 years of culmination of writing and writing and writing, not consistently all the time, every single day, but over time, I have built up a repertoire of hundreds of thousands of minutes of writing, and that has led to a point right now where I can write with ease, maybe not with complete talent, but I can write a good story, yeah? Same thing with yoga. I spent, I've been doing yoga since I was 22, 23 years old, so about 20 years now. Again, not consistently every single day, but pretty much so. And you know, now I can go into yoga class and I know I might not be the best best person in there. Like I might not be able to do all the different poses, but I know that I can keep up and I know how to do the poses and I know a lot about it because I know my body and I've been putting it into all these weird poses for a long time now. You know, I go to a class and I'm like, yeah, this is it. This is I know this. My body knows this because I've been doing this for so long. I've built up minute by minute by minute by minute class by class by class over a long period of time i've taken hundreds of classes by now and i've done hundreds of hours of yoga by now i know my body knows i know how to put my body into these different weird shapes and stay in it and feel in it right again over time bit by bit by bit by bit by bit by bit by bit i got here when i first did my first yoga class i remember oh my gosh it was, I did a hot yoga class um, and it was, I must say, difficult. I had to, I'm pretty sure, leave in the middle of the class because it was just way too much for me. It was a hot yoga class, so obviously it was way too much for me, but I could not keep up with the poses either. It was really hard. And, you know, I remember at a point after like a year or two of doing hot yoga classes every day or every other day, something like that, I, I did them with such ease that I, I didn't even feel the heat. I wasn't even that sweaty at the end of the class. That's how much our body adapted. It's, again, a testament to how adapt adaptable our bodies are and our minds are. But in general, you know, it, it is the accumulation of all of those little poses, all of those little bits of time, all of those bits of classes on top, like brick by brick by brick, I built up this repertoire of yoga, right? Again, not an expert, not a complete like, oh my God, I'm the ultimate yogi. Of course not. You're never going to get that to that point, really. But it is the building up over time of these things. Unfortunately, as you probably know, we live in a culture where this kind of building up over time, this is not really what people want to do, perhaps, or even people, they, they don't respect it or they don't have the time for it or they are impatient that they don't want to you know put effort in whatever it might be i noticed that a lot of people are like can i just I, I just want instant results a lot of people message me about youtube you know because they see my channel they're like oh you know you built up a good good enough channel you know how did you do it um 
and you know I don't usually talk about this with other people most people in my life don't know that I'm a, I'm a youtuber if you want to call it um, but sometimes they'll discover it and they're like oh you know how did you do it and I'm like well one video at a time over a long period of time I've been doing this for eight years now yeah um, almost eight years um, and yeah it was literally hundreds of videos that I put out I've, I've put out about almost 2,000 videos something like that and you know like it's bit by bit minute by minute and now you know in the beginning I remember as I said like I did the first video and I was stuttering I was my heart was beating so fast I could barely breathe I couldn't catch my breath I, I did the video and I finished it and I was like I had I felt like I had heart palpitations I was freaking out you know I was like oh my god also you know I never believed anyone wouldn't want to listen to me speak on about nonsense but uh, they did thankfully <laughs> well not nonsense but different topics and uh, you know now I can do a video without like I, I just put on the camera and I, I speak and it's as natural to me as breathing you know which it was not and again this didn't happen randomly it happened over time long period of time bit by bit video by video and so that's what I tell people you know it'll take you a little bit of time probably two three four years but if you're consistent with it over time you will get there as well if I can do it anyone can do it really um, and but again it is about putting in the time putting in that effort putting in those classes putting in those minutes putting in those words putting in that practice you know it is about that it is about building up that brick by brick motion but again as I said a lot of people will look at me when they when I tell them that and they're like hmm uh, is there anything I can do to make this happen faster <laughs> like well you could pay someone for it I guess you could buy followers and all that stuff I've, I've never looked into that but I know that's a possibility uh, I'm sure there's other ways to do it as well but I've noticed that the best things in life do come after all of these like little monumental but little efforts that you do over time and then suddenly you realize yeah you know I can do it I'm doing it I'm doing it well and I'm, I'm good at it and it feels so good in your body in your mind and your in your spirit to be like to get to that point in whatever you're doing also a lot of times it is a very subtle shift you know suddenly out of the blue you'll realize oh right I'm actually quite good at this it, I think I've just like a year ago realized that I'm good at doing videos I did not realize this before and I would be doing them and I'm like yeah, yeah I'm doing it but suddenly I realized yeah actually this is something that I'm good at same thing with yoga you know I've been doing it for so long that I don't actually even think about it but I do suddenly think to myself oh yeah actually actually I can do this pose and a lot of people cannot that's interesting uh, and so you know it, it does build up over time it's a very subtle movement and you might not even realize it unless you actually think about it be like hmm, am I good at this or what am I doing here what's going on again if you're having fun with it you don't actually even think about it either right because you're like well it doesn't matter if I'm good at it or not I'm gonna keep on doing it until the rest of my life um, but I just wanted to share this insight with you because it is one of the, the keystones I think for success or in anything that you're doing it is about the little things the little steps the little baby steps that you're taking over time that builds up to it and if you think that you can go without it I would say no I don't think it's possible I don't think it's possible to go without it every person who's successful on this planet whatever they're doing if you look at their past history you will see that they started building up these keystone brick habits bit by bit by bit by bit and then they got to where they are right now I hope this makes sense. I hope I was able to explain myself to you. And if you have any questions about this or any other t video I've done, please message me anytime, comment below. I'm always looking forward to hearing from you. Again, thank you so much for listening, for being on my channel. I really appreciate your support, and I shall see you the next time around.